Good morning. Welcome back. This is your reading for Sunday, Father's Day, <laughs> June 16th, 2024. Shout out to all the dads out there. And for the moms who didn't have uh, a spouse or a, a partner to support them and played, played both roles. Ooh, and Page of Swords reversed. Looks like maybe for the morning. Let's see. Page of Swords reversed, Three of Cups reversed, and Justice. Ooh, interesting. Okay, so uh, with the Page of Swords, in the morning, there might be somebody talking too much. And you might want some solace or some solitude or some quiet time, and you're just not getting it. <laughs> it's possible. Um, yeah. Now, it also could be a younger person that promised to help you with the party, and, and it turns out that they're not showing up. They were, uh, some of the key words with the Page of Swords reversed is somebody with, it's all talk and no action. Mm, I wonder if that's it. It could also just be uh, waking up in the morning and not feeling good. Sometimes uh, it can have to do with circulatory problems in the legs and feet and ankles. Uh, so you might have to get up and stretch a whole lot more and get yourself really grounded. Uh, sometimes also with the Page of Swords reversed, you want to be careful for, you know, you don't want to fall. This is our card for falling and having types of, you know, accidents. Um, but usually it's just somebody who's, you know, who's promised to do something and then they're not showing up. They're, they're not able to come I, or do what they were going to do. And maybe it's because they fell or something, you know, maybe there's a sprained ankle. Oh, goodness. Okay. Three of Cups, when this card comes to reversed, this is usually uh, some creativity that couldn't come through. Like some things, there's just not, I don't know, maybe it's this person and they're feeling guilty for not showing up, for not following through. There's that possibility. But this is our theme. You know, the center card's our theme for the day. I'm... So, so some key words when the Three of Cups comes through reversed is depression. Uh, you know, mostly because there's been a betrayal and uh, maybe the person that's the betrayer is feeling, because uh, this can be a triangle, you know, like a relationship. Um, someone, you know, who's gone through a three-way, you know, three-sided relationship where there's betrayal. And... Um, now, also, it can just be that somebody's feeling really guilty, and so they're depressed about that, and they're down on themselves, especially if they promised to show up, and then they hurt, fell and hurt themselves. It's like, oh my goodness, right? Um, and to balance out the situation, you might have to go and take care of them, you know, because you, you want to do what's right, Uh you know, best you can. But then sometimes, too, the Three of Cups reverse can come through when you're feeling like you're just not enough. Like you're not, there's a feeling of, of everything, you know, falling through. Because the Three of Cups, when it's upright, it's all about abundance. But when it comes through reversed, you're feeling like you're not abundant enough. So there's a spiritual law with that which is um, is probably the law of affinity or the law of attraction, where if you think you're not enough, then you're always going to experience, you're always going to attract situations that make you feel that you're not enough or not good enough. And it's, to, it's the way life, you know, manifests for us so that we can see what is going on inside of us. It doesn't mean it's true. It just means that we have that underlying belief, and so life will continue to mirror that back to us in order to help us turn it around because we're the only ones that have that power. And it does teach you how, how much power you actually have when you work through all those, those issues, you know. And it came from childhood or past life, 
and and it's here you know when it comes through it's here to heal to help us heal it's here to teach us and help us heal but yeah and it could be too that it's a, at a party you're at a party or a gathering and there's too much drinking because people are somebody's not feeling good and and it might might also be that um, there's too much talking because somebody doesn't feel good enough so they're having to or, or they think they have to be on top of things and and you know how sometimes people can just talk too much when they're nervous like that's their defense system you know I uh, I'm sure you've you've experienced you've seen that happen or or maybe you you've experienced it within yourself. I uh, it's a very human, you know, quality to do that or human response. <laughs> but anyway, with the justice card, we are learning to balance out our soul substance. This is the card for getting inside the truth of what the causal effect is, no matter what it is. I, yeah, I mean, it's, it's like the law of gravity. It's, the, it's all the spiritual law in the universe, and, and we're always needing to get to the truth. That's why we've got the, you know, kind of the blindfold there and, um, and the moon, you know, weighing both sides and trying to figure out what's going on. And I love the artwork in this card because we've got the black and white tiles, and it reminds me that when I receive, when I see the cards like or see the colors, black and white, or is white a color? One of them's not a color. <laughs> I forget. I think it's white. It's not really a color. Anyway, black and white reminds me of duality. So we are always kind of like on a razor's edge to keep ourselves balanced in life until we get good at it. And the way to get good at it is to always search inside for what the cause is. No matter what you're going through that you don't like, we have to search inside for how we got in alignment with either a lie or a false belief or, or we're just learning something. And I think, you know, we're always, <laughs> we're in earth school. I think we're always learning. At least I am. <laughs> so anyway, that's all I have for today. And I hope it's a good day uh, for you. And again, happy Father's Day. Okay, bye. <laughs>